Well, I guess I would like to uh, take you on a little little trip into the past. Maybe all the way back when you're, when you're as old as I am, I can, I can tell you we're, we're going to go back to the last millennium. Because I, I, you know, people have asked me, you know, you know, what's, what, what brought you here? You know, and I, I have to, you know, I have to give thanks first to, on this trip that brought me here, which I never thought I would be here. But I have to give thanks to my wife, Charlotte, for all her, all her patience over the years to, uh, Know, to this adventure that uh, that brought me to this leadership position, because, and I have to give thanks to, and some of you may know this man, uh, Dave Henry. That if you went to Paris, where I graduated from, uh, it was back in 1968 when I uh, was sitting in a classroom. About this time, maybe a little bit later, uh, but it was an ethics, an ethics and a professionalism class, and. Uh, <coughs> You know, I was getting ready to graduate uh, out of the program at Ferris. And, you know, and all I wanted to do was to get out and get a job. I mean, that's, that's all I wanted, you know. Come on, let's get this over with. You know, I needed to go to work. But he, was, he started talking about what, what you need to do in your career. What's, what's important for you was to get involved to become part of the profession, to get involved in an organization. You had to get, you know, I was from Michigan, so you, you needed to join the, the Michigan Society of Registered Land Surveyors. We weren't the professional surveyors, we were the registered land surveyors at that time. But you also needed to join the National ACSM. But, you know, I would, you know, I need to get a job. I, I don't have time for that stuff. But I was very fortunate, the first firm I went to work for, they wanted you to participate in those two organizations. And I did. And it started me on the road to leadership and to being involved. And it moved me forward through my career. So then, you know, so, and I started to find out that what really the benefit of, of doing that was. And I found out that, you know, in my entire career, I wasn't really the best surveyor. You know, I didn't have all the answers. But I found that um, by participating in those, in those two organizations, and I started <clears throat> being able to talk to people, and if I didn't have the answer, I could, pick up the phone and call somebody and say, you know, they, hey, I've got a problem. <coughs> you ever done it? Have, ever, have this one ever happened to you? Oh, yeah. I, I, here, boy, you think that's a dumb problem. <laughs> Here's one that'll really tax you. And it was those contacts and all the help I got from people. And I started, meet, you know, meeting people and it just started to mushroom and move forward and I started meeting so many great people, and all the things that I, 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 I always thought back to Dave Henry telling me, telling us, you know, here, the benefit of doing these things. And it just grew, and it grew, and it grew as a profession, a professional, and all the benefit I had. And, and little things started becoming big things about participating. And it was things like my son, who uh, bought some property out in Idaho. Well, what do I, what do I as, a, as a surveyor in Michigan, know about what to do in Idaho? But I picked up the phone and called a guy by the name of Kim, love it, and said, hey Kim, I, can you help me out? My son's gonna buy a piece of property up in the panhandle of Idaho. He says, no, I don't work up there. But I know a guy up there that can help you out. So Kim gets on the horn, calls the guy. That's what being, you know, of why you want, why we wanted to be part of this type of organization. So 
you know, it has benefited so much from that little, that advice that I got early on in my career. And, you know, it, it's, I cannot tell anybody why the benefits of becoming a member of NSPS and moving and how this, your leadership skills and all the things that I've, I've learned has helped me in becoming a better professional and grooming me to become to this position that I've, I've accepted today. And I'm just so thankful for all the people that I've met and that have helped me in my career and helped me to move forward and to take on this role that I have today. And I know all of you, and I hope all of you, have felt that same way that I have. And now when we go forward from this day, I hope I can call upon all of you to, to continue with that support that I'm going to need. And I was thinking last night, you know, what, what am I going, you know, what am I going to do? How, how are we going to work together? Because do I have to accomplish the goals that uh, on the programs that we have in place? Are we going to take on any new projects? We may, but we have so many projects that we, we have in place that need to be worked on. I think those those are fine, and I think we need to continue those. Will projects come up, problems occur that need to be worked on? Yes. And we'll need to, I'll need to call upon all of you sitting out there. You'll get tapped, and you're going to, you're going to, I'm going to need you. But I, I don't know if you folks know that um, prior to becoming, getting involved in land surveying, I had another career. And I was a submarine sailor. And I learned so much in those brief time that I did that. And so one thing that, that they, uh, I learned is that working together in that career was far, far more important. And there was a little thing that uh, there are officers and there are enlisted men. And the officers, when we had one thing that uh, the officer, we went out on a, on a ship, I was, on the boat I was on, and it was very it was what a kind of a milestone in the submarines was if you made the you made the uh, the three hundredth dive, that was important to the officers, and they celebrated that because of the team effort it took to do that. The enlisted men, we celebrated the 300th surface. <laughs> that was a different mentality. It meant that we all worked together. And if you, if you think about being in a submarine, what it takes to take that, that tube, the hydraulics, the mechanics, the electrical, all the, the mechanisms that it takes and the men, and at that time, uh, ladies, it was only men. But now we're, it's so important that we have you, that, we, that it takes to make that thing when you go out and you hit the diving alarm and you pull the plug and it fills up with water and down you go. How much more important it is that they reverse the process and you go up. That was far more important to us. So that's how I see our organization is that we're going to work together and we're going to go up and we're going to continue on. And that's in the coming year. I hope we go up, we move forward, and we continue the work that we have started. So thank you very much.